question is from Lily Bow, 1985. You pretty much always recommend whey protein, but I've heard that it could be damaging to the kidneys. Could you comment on that? Do we uh, recommend whey more than we do uh, non-whey? Uh, I feel like we don't, actually. No, it's, but, I mean, I talk about I mean, whey personally because I prefer whey. Yeah. But I mean, Sal probably does more than talking he about. Never, protein. yeah, he never mentions whey because it's yeah, it hurts his it's, tummy. It's like yeah. Tummy, you know? yeah, I can't do dairy. It ruins tummy time. So I do um, plant protein. I do the Organifi plant protein. That's the one I use on a on a regular basis. Um, so I, I, it's it's surprising that this uh, myth still exists about high protein diets or high protein intake and uh, kidney damage. Um, yes, the kidneys filter out protein. They do adapt as you consume more protein, and they're able to filter out protein. Didn't this stem from the Ad, the Atkins blow up the first time? Isn't that what that it was? Came? That was part of the, like the pushback or whatever. Was right? Wasn't Atkins. it? it was, weren't people having kidney failure and stuff? From, no, 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 no. Oh, they weren't. No, I no. thought that's that's what maybe it was. kidney stones, which is which is different. Which it hasn't isn't they haven't traced it back to that. No, it's not high protein. Um, that has more to do with the the fat content and and, and mineral content of certain people's diets. But no, you're, you're, a high-protein diet is perfectly safe for somebody who's got normal functioning kidneys. Now, the reason why this myth exists is because if you have kidney problems, if you have you know kidney failure or your kidneys aren't working right and you go to the doctor and they figure this out for you, one thing that they might do is reduce your protein intake. Yeah. And so then the people thought, oh, if I have bad kidneys, I have to eat less protein. Therefore, protein is bad for the kidneys. No, it's because mm. the kidneys filter protein. If they're not functioning well, not a good idea. You're, you want to give them a break. Yeah, but if you're the if you're a normal person and your kidneys are functioning normally, a high protein diet is perfectly safe for the kidneys. Now, I'm not talking about insane amounts of protein like some pro bodybuilders will consume, where they're doing, you know, two three grams of protein per pound of body weight. I don't think there's any studies to show what that'll do at all. So I can't comment on that, but there's plenty of studies to show that eating, you know, half a gram to one gram to one and a half grams of protein per pound of body weight, which is a lot. So if I'm a 200 pound man, that's 200 grams of protein a day. It's a decent amount of protein, perfectly safe. There should be nothing to, to worry about. Now, whey protein is uh, an exceptional uh, protein source. Well, source gram for gram, it's the best, right? That's it, where all that's where all the communication around this is. It been. depends on the way you measure it. Egg protein through other you know measurement standards. Maybe someone can make the argument that it might be better in some cases. Um, it, of course, it depends on the individual. But the reason why whey protein tends to be so good is because it's it mixes easily. It's convenient. Um, it's got high levels of branching amino acids. But it, when your protein intake is high, that doesn't make that big of a difference. You know, I think we, we, we talk a lot about protein sources. It matters more if your protein intake is low than if your protein intake is high. So if you're eating one gram of protein per pound of body weight, then the protein sources don't make that big of a difference, if at all. If you're consuming a low protein diet, well, then it makes a difference. Then it makes a difference. Then you really want to have high quality animal proteins or whey protein um, in your diet. But if you're eating high protein, it doesn't make a big difference. Now, the good vegan proteins that are out there have multiple sources of protein. So if you get like just pure hemp protein or pure soy protein, you're not dealing with a, a protein that's, uh, that's that good of a quality on a gram for gram basis when you compare to like animal proteins or, or whey. But if a company like Organifi did this very well, they took multiple plant sources with complementary amino acid profiles and put them together. Now you have a blend and you have a very high quality uh, protein powder. And no um, dairy. It with, with no dairy, right? So now if you have dairy issues, you're, you're totally fine. But it's funny the one, how whey protein really became this big staple in – uh, in the supplement space, yeah. it used to be what they threw away. Yeah, well, wasn't that the why? Like, it became popular. It's like, what can we do to uh, also repurpose this? Somehow? Well, not exactly. Yeah. That's not because that's not what happened with the sub movie. Gets into it a little bit of like what 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 made it really be popular is what Sal said is uh, how well it mixed. Yes, the stuff oh, they were yeah. using before was all clunky, and and then when they found out the science proved that it was actually better. Yeah. So it was better, and it mixed better. That's what made it really explode. Yeah, and, but yeah. it was it was considered the way. Waste from a lot of these uh, these farms, they would yeah. throw the the way away. So it turned out to be, uh, you know, pretty pretty awesome from because before that, your protein powders were just milk. 
I know. Imagine being the, one of the first companies actually to make that pivot and utilize that to sell. Like how much that probably changed their business. Oh, yeah. oh game changer! Because I, I remember the the cutting edge protein before whey was egg. It was egg white protein. That mm. was the problem with egg white protein. Have you guys ever tried egg white protein? Oh, dude! Like I remember it just stinking it, for one, and and it and just it's because of the I don't know if it's the sulfur compound. You know, yeah, there's it, lots of you sulfur will traces in there. Yeah, that's what I mean. That coming in and out, it stunk. Yeah, yeah. it's it's so, not good. It's yeah. not good at all. Like, so way like much more than normal. Way crushed it because it was just an easy mixing. But again, other protein sources now are catching up because of technology and how well they put them together or whatever. So now you can get a vegan protein that Doug, is just as good. Doug, did you just pull up? Is that what Organifi has in all theirs? Yeah, it's got pea all. protein, quinoa. There's pumpkin seed in there. Scroll down a little bit more, Coconut. Please. Yep. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, they, they have a blend. Pea protein, by the way, has got a great amino acid profile for a vegan protein. It's one of the better ones. 